Hello, my name is Dwayne Kimball, owner and founder of KMD89, a VA claims consultant, leave no vet behind, and also I'm a United States Army veteran. And I'm DJ Johnson, KMD89, claims specialist. I'm also an Air Force veteran. All right. So before we get into today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button. And today we're going to be doing a reenactment, if you will, of a John Doe CNP exam. So we're going to be pointing out some things that um, that you want to pay special attention to in your CNP exam and maybe even some documents that you want to take to your exam. A lot of veterans, they don't know what to take. They don't know what questions to ask. And most importantly, they don't know what questions on the DBQ. All right. So today, DJ and I, we're going to uh, go through a migraine mock CMP exam. I'm going to be the examiner and DJ is going to be the John Doe veteran. All right. So uh, make sure just, you know, take some notes and think about if you have a CMP exam coming up, think about some of the things that you will take some of the questions that you would ask and also pay attention to some questions I'm going to ask DJ and then DJ is going to ask me and then we'll just do a quick review uh, at the end uh, of this video. Okay. And, so and let, let me get in character one second. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. We, we're going to leave that within there now. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, so hello, uh, Mr. Veteran. I'll be the examiner today. Um, we're going to be doing an exam uh, that was been scheduled for you by the VA. Do you know which <clears throat> exam you're here for today? Um, how you doing? Uh, from what I was told, it was uh, migraines for my migraines. Is that correct? Okay. Yep. Okay. That's it. So uh, before we get started, uh, just give me the last four of your social security. Uh, verify I got it at zero, 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 zero. Yes, correct. Okay. All right. Well, first of all, thank you for your service. I uh, definitely welcome. appreciate that. Uh, I see that you're Air Force. I'm an Army veteran myself. Go Army, right? <laughs> hey, go all, go all services. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So cool. we're going to uh, get going with some of the questions here. And uh, let me get my glasses because I want to make sure I get all the questions. So just for full transparency, it says, are you a healthcare provider? Uh, meaning me, that would be no. Uh, is the veteran regularly seen as a patient in your clinic? Uh, that would be no. Was a veteran seminary person? That would be yes. Well, I'm going to put no, but in the notes here, um, we're doing this by virtual. So it'd be video, tele, uh, telemental, Exam is what the VA calls it. Okay. Evidence review. Um, the records review. I did look through your VA. Um, I'm sorry. I looked through your VA claims folder. Okay. And I did uh, look through your um, Air Force medical records. Okay. okay. Um, but I did not see where you had any treatment or diagnosis or complaints for migraine headaches while you were in the Air Force? You said you didn't. I did not. Okay. So, I looked I looked through uh, uh, the, okay. the VA's um, uh, medical records that they allowed me to see, and I did not see any treatments or complaints or diagnosis of migraine. Okay. Well, I, I have all my documents with me. I have a the complete copy of my STRs and it shows clearly several um, examples and instances where I was seen in service for okay. my, my headaches and I have uh, medica uh, medicine that was prescribed to me. So if you like okay. to see those, I can uh, give those to you. Okay. All right. Well, what we'll do is um, I'm going to reach out to the VA to see if there's a way I could get those or uh, I tell you what, if you wouldn't mind, can you give me uh, a couple of dates yes. of treatment? Yes. So, um, 1 02 1990, 
three, four, 1990. I mean, I have several, but you know, okay. So that, I, I think that'll be, yeah, need. that'll be fine. So, okay. uh, yeah, cause what I'm going to do, I'm going to reach back out to the VA and let them know that you have copies, but it, it might be a good idea for you to go ahead and upload those, okay. uh, send those to the VA, but I'll reach out and I'll let them know uh, before I make my decision to make those documents available to me uh, before I render my final decision. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, the question does the veteran now or has he or she ever been diagnosed with a headache condition? I'm going to hold off on answering that question until I see uh, those documents. Okay. That you have. And they could be in there, but I'm going to go through the file again uh, just in case they could be in there. Maybe I just missed them. Okay. Uh, so the condition we're here today is migraines. Uh, there's no other additional. Do you have any other additional diagnosis that you think that may be related uh, to your migraine uh, headaches? Um, additional diagnosis? No. Okay. No, no sir. Can you describe your history of your migraine headaches uh, in service and uh, since service? Yes. Well, in service, it all started when I had a uh, motor vehicle accident. Um, I was driving a, a federal vehicle, it was a military vehicle, and a civilian was coming on base, hit us. And ever since then, I've had um, migraine headaches, and that was a head trauma that I that I uh, that I had. They thought it was TBI, but it wasn't. It was just uh, my migraine headaches after all. And um, after service, I continued with my private physician and uh, I had the whole history. I, I uploaded that into the, uh, to the record. So okay. I uploaded my whole history with current diagnosis and the medications. They prescribed uh, Imitrex, I believe. I'm not too sure about the, the um, intensity of the uh, prescription, but it, I do have Imitrex. Oh, okay. All right, because that leads into the next question. Does a veteran treatment plan include medication? So yes, Imitrex. Okay. okay. Um, what, what's, um, uh, uh, which symptoms do you experience a constant headache, pain, uh, pulsating or throbbing, pain localized to one side, uh, is it pain on both sides? Pain worsens uh, during physical activity. Um, constant head pain once once they start the migraine itself start. Um, that's pulsating, throbbing, definitely, and it's it's on my left side. It's like uh, right uh, on the other side of my ear. If that makes sense, yep. I can't. Yeah, that's the best yep. I can describe yep. it. But it's it's intense and. I can't do anything when it when it hits. I, you know, I have to isolate myself. I have to wear uh, something for the you know because we have fluorescent lights in here in this office, so I have to wear my head cover so to provide um, some deflection of the light as well as I have these prescription lights that I mean lights are the prescription glasses that they prescribe that has the uh, filters and everything for the light as well as uh, the, the uh, computer monitors. Okay. Uh, do you experience any nausea, vomiting? Uh, you already said sensitivity, light, uh, sound changes in vision, or anything like that. Yes, sensitivity, light, definitely. I, I you know, explain that, um, but definitely sensitivity, light, sound when the migraines are uh, active. Yes, like I said, I had to isolate myself, and um, if I don't, then I do experience uh, some nausea. Okay, because it just gets it more intense. Oh, and uh, right. when I uh, went for my exam, and I, I told them that um, when they when it's a really bad one, it's like my my eyes are throbbing. I don't know. It's my it's like I get fish eye vision, you know. So okay. that that's you know a change in my vision as well. Even right now, I'm having it. You know, my, my eyes are kind of start watering sometimes. Okay. All right. Um, what is your duration of uh, when you have head pain? 
less than one day, one or two days, more than two days? The duration of a typical is probably a day to two days. You know, I take the medicine and it doesn't uh, uh, medical documents from a private provider. But I'm surprised that you don't have those, but you, you didn't see my instance of service either. So right, not, right. So, but I have those as well. And I have the same the same dates that I gave you before. Yes, I have MRIs, I have current MRIs from my private physician, and I also have the records that I had three MRIs done while in the military. In those first three dates I gave you, it says mm -hmm. with a company MRIs. Okay. So I'm definitely I, uh if you could get those to the VA, but I'm going to reach out to the VA as well because uh, I don't see those. But definitely before I make a decision, I want to okay. review, you know, I have to review that information. OK. All right. Um, so that's all I have at this time. But I want to give you an opportunity to maybe to, to expand on your migraines a little bit or is there anything else? that you think I need to know uh, before I re render um, uh, my decision back to the VA? Uh, well, yes. Well, I had the DBQ open in front of me at the same time, and I was just you know, okay. going over everything just because, you know, sometimes it's hard for me to, to track. That's the, the easiest way for me to follow along. But I noticed that, um, well, you didn't have my information for my STRs, so will you at least make a note in the remarks section that you know you didn't have those, but that I did supply you those dates, and I have the records in front of me, you know that okay. those are service treatment records. I will also supply those to the uh, VA. So if you can make that um, remark, just so there's no confusion, you know they're saying that I don't have right. this in service. Okay. And then um, I noticed on four uh, B, you're talking about the um, the headaches and whatnot. Um, so the prostrating headaches, and far as the 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 job, you, I didn't hear anything about that about the uh, economic uh, and adaptability. Okay, and, I. Yeah, I did miss that question. I apologize, but I do remember uh, you stating that uh, how your migraine does yes. affect you and that you have to take off work. Yeah, uh, yeah, yes. I appreciate that. Okay, I was going to put that in remarks, but I did miss that question there. Uh, so thank you for bringing that to my attention. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, employment. Okay. All right. And uh, one last one, that uh, uh -huh. section one with the diagnosis. I was diagnosed in service, so that goes back to the records that you don't have that I have. <laughs> I was right, diagnosed in service, and they prescribed the medication, which I'm still on today. They prescribed okay. that. So that's when I started. Okay. All right. So now what I'll do is I'll I'll go back and uh, through the uh, my report, and I'll reach out to the VA. Well, I'll go back into what the VA sent me uh, just in case I missed it. But okay. definitely uh, glad that you did have a copy of your medical records from service and you can get that to the VA. I'm pretty sure they're in there and I just missed it, but I, I want to make sure uh, I double check. So is okay. there anything else that you would like to add at this time? Uh, no, no, sir. Just those those points. OK. All right. Well, I'll go back and do uh another review just to make sure I'm pretty sure I just missed it, but I want to make sure at least I have the dates uh, that I can work off of. So if I do find them, I can just match them up. Okay. okay. Well, I'd like to uh, take this time to thank you uh, for your service. Um, and I, if that's it, that, that concludes uh, today's exam. Wow. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank have you. Have a good day. All right. Uh, as we can see veterans, this, again, this was just, a mock uh, DBQ. We just want to share with you, um, you know what you know what one possibly looks like. Not saying that uh, yours would be exactly the same. You know, every examiner is different. Um, but just to give you a feel, and DJ pointed out some things. Uh, one, you know, the examiner stated that hey, uh, I didn't see uh, that you were treated in service uh, for migraines, and DJ came back with, hey, I got a copy 
of them. Here's some dates. And then also I missed a couple of questions intentionally because I wanted him to follow up at the end and say, hey, you forgot to ask me these questions. The one thing that he pointed out was, hey, I was following the DBQ and noticed that you missed uh, these particular questions. So before we wrap up, DJ, is there anything – that you would like to add any, you know, maybe some experiences you had on some C and P exams? Well, let me put these back on because I actually, I actually do, uh, do need these. It gets kind of intense, but um, no, I mean, this was a perfect representation of some things that, that we encounter. And um, one in particular is, you know, the examiner missing some things and having the items at your disposal, your notes and whatnot is, is perfect because sometimes, you know, we forget. And sometimes people that have migraines also have other conditions which uh, exasperate the, the memory issues. So if you have those notes showing dates like I had, dates of when things occurred, um, the prescription, those are, are very helpful. And we I did have something like this happen to me, and that's how I handled it. Right. And, you know, another thing you brought, brought up a good point. And let's just say if you didn't have a copy of your uh, medical records from service, I don't think it would be I, I would think, it you know, it wouldn't be wrong to even ask the examiner, hey, I, you know, I'm claiming this because I had treatment or diagnosis in service. Do you have. Or, or do or can you see or you know do you see that I was treated for this condition in service? It wouldn't be, you know, I don't think it would be wrong for the veteran to ask that question. You know, have you reviewed my STRs and do you see this, you know, in in my records? If you know if that's if you're claiming it on a, a direct basis, if it's increase or secondary, then that'll be a little bit different. But I think, you know, as veterans, even one of the mistakes I made, I didn't go in my first exam. I don't think I asked enough questions, you right. know, like, you know, right. what we, we did today, you know, uh, mm -hmm. because there are some things that the examiner can't answer. Like, well, how long is it going to take before I, I hear back from the regional office? They send it back to the regional office. They have no clue because they're not adjudicating the claim. You know, that's right. So you know, and then yeah. most times veterans are a little bit nervous on asking questions. I, I, I always tell folks, look, this is this is your exam. It's not their right. exam. It's your exam. They're conducting. It's your exam. You know, it's up to you to make yourself feel comfortable as well, as well as the examiner. Right. So I think, you know, one thing is when you go to the exams, having the DBQ with you, or if right. you're doing some virtual, have it in front of you. And I think that that would definitely help because as the examiner is going through it, you can follow along with it. And that's something that I didn't, I didn't even think about doing. Right. You know, um, when I did my CMP exams, but uh, I, I think that would help putting the vet at ease and then even knowing why uh, they're there. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. So uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Again, it was just a mock CMP exam, John Doe exam. Just wanted to give you a few uh, a pointers of a reenactment of what could happen at a CMP exam. Everybody's CMP exam is different. Everybody claim is different. So just like the day went, I think the day went kind of smooth. Um, I had a total of four. Two of them went horrible and two of them went really well. <laughs> so hey, it, it happens. We all know it happens. So uh, make sure you leave us a comment. Let us know how we did with our acting skills, how we did with our acting <laughs> skills. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Thank you. Thumbs up.